It's time for a market update on some of our favorite ordinal projects. We're going to take a look at Track. We're going to take a look at NAT, NAT token, and we're going to take a look at the other NAT token, Baked. All that and more coming right up. Box trading. I am your host, JT, and here on the channel, we cover Bitcoin fundamentals and technical analysis, as well as some of the uh, cool stuff that we're seeing in the ordinal space. So if you aren't already subscribed, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button. And I also want to invite you to check out the links below and go to blackbox.pro. That is B-L-K-B-O-X.pro. Sign up and uh, get your free Bitcoin trading bot. Buy the bottoms, sell the tops, never miss a move again with Blackbox. Okay, we're going to start things off here by looking at the track token. Make sure that you are looking at the correct track. There's another track out there called Origin Trail. That's not the one that you want to be looking at. You want to look at TARC, or sorry, TRAC with the ordinals. This is built on top of the Bitcoin network. It is a BRC20 token. That is the one you want to take a look at. And what's nice about this one is it actually has a uh, chart on TradingView. So you, it is tradable on Gate.io. It is also tradable on OKX. If you do want to support the channel, go check the links down below, sign up for any of the partner exchanges and receive a whole bunch of uh, premium benefits on the inside of the uh, Discord server there. Or if you don't care about that stuff, but you just want to you know, support the work that we do here, use those uh, affiliate links. We do get a small commission and it does help to keep the channel rolling. All right. So um, track, you know, we're, we're way up. We were calling this one at uh, 30 cents, basically. Uh, but we're way up from there. It's at $4.64. Uh, not financial advice here, but I have made some pretty bold claims on where I think this is going over the long term from a cycle perspective. I think it's not irresponsible to say that this is going to make it to 50, 60, 80, 100 plus dollars per track again do your own research you you're an adult you have to make your own investment decisions i'm a 28 year old man and i know how to spend my money responsibly these are just my thoughts uh based off of what i've seen in the uh last uh couple cycles here in cryptocurrency but in my opinion this is the chain link of bitcoin it is a very important infrastructure project uh, it tracks all of the ordinal data that's being inscribed onto the bitcoin satoshis assigning it value saying if it's an nft saying if it's a token it's critical critical infrastructure required for the ordinal space now ta what are we looking at for ta so you know the whole space is very overheated i like to use uh market sentiment as as kind of a guide as to when i think something's going to go into an accumulation phase and for me, um, we have enough people kind of FOMOing into ordinals that I think we're entering a little bit of a cool off period. Now, why would that? Why would you, why would that make sense? You know, if people are coming in, wouldn't that mean that the price goes up? No, because the largest holders in the game are always going to be the whales, and the whales are looking for signs to sell. You know, this is the smart money against dumb money. Not my not my terminology. This is just what's. Uh, in the market and when smart money was acquiring down here when nobody was talking about it at all and if you talked about ordinals a people didn't know what it was and b they thought it wasn't going to do anything uh that's when smart money's accumulating and then when we're up here and everybody's doing the free mints and playing with all of these uh these paid uh nft project mints and uh ordinals are very much in the mainstream right now that's when those savvy investors are going to take profits and when they take profits they flood the market full of supply so you do have to be very careful in that kind of market condition so what i anticipate not what everybody wants to hear but you know you always come to this channel for the truth and uh what i see objectively in the charts uh, what I see is a little bit of an accumulation period with very, very strong support, not saying it has to go there, just saying that this is a very strong support level between $2.50, yeah, right around $2.50 and about $3.10. Very, very strong support here. This is coming from kind of the support slash resistance flip area of this initial pump out of the accumulation zone. So pretty strong support here. Again, I'm not saying it has to go there. I'm just saying that in the event of a sideways trading environment, um, I would expect a bounce every time we, we kind of got at or close to that level. And we will continue to trade sideways uh, until we can start to take out some of the highs. Like if we take out the high here 
at uh, 750, then it's a continuation. It's a continuation. But based off of the sentiment, based off of the amount of profit that uh, we are in on this trade, and many other traders are also in uh, very high amounts of profit, um, I do expect a little bit of a cool down period. Also, we're getting very close to the Bitcoin halving. Uh, usually there's a rally in anticipation of the halving, then kind of a sideways trading environment where we either chop or we might even uh, head down to lower levels. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, we might head down to lower levels. So, you know, with those considerations in mind, I would not be surprised if we trade sideways through the through the halving begin to lightly get some demand showing us some higher high higher low structures in the charts and then continue on to the upper levels so that's track let me know your thoughts down below do you think we're going to trade sideways do you think we are going to take out that high at seven dollars and fifty cents please leave your comments down below let me know your thoughts and if you want a more e interactive experience don't forget to go to blackbox drop pro click the join community tab and share your thoughts in real time you know i try to respond to youtube comments in fact i do respond to every youtube comment but if you want to get a back and forth banter going uh if you want to get uh you know questions asked in a quicker amount of time then i highly encourage you to come and check out the discord we've got a large vibrant community that is very willing to help i've spent a lot of time in nurturing that culture where we are a support community. If you have questions, we have answers. So come on in, check it out. Next on the list is going to be NAT. That is available on Ordinal's wallet. Uh, the Ordinal space is kind of fractional right now. So do, you know, if you're new, I highly encourage you to come and ask questions in the Discord. We're gonna point you in the right direction. But basically BRC20 tokens, they're best purchased on Unisat in my opinion. And if you're gonna be purchasing TAP tokens, which is, uh, basically what the track protocol is going to be managing uh your your best bet is going to be ordinal's wallet ordinal's wallet is is the best place for tap tokens unisat wallet is the best or unisat.io is the best place for uh brc20 tokens i'm not going to get too into the weeds feel free to ask questions but yeah tap dmt nat these are nat tokens this has had insane volume. It has had insane owner count. It's one of the most uh, distributed projects in the space right now. I think holder count and volume are very good metrics for performance moving forwards. Uh, seven day change, it's up 30% in the last week. We can go ahead and check out its chart. So right here, when you tap on uh, NAT, you can go down here and there's this little arrow here i like to switch it over to the daily this chart's a little bit weird honestly this one's not making a whole lot of sense uh this is not the price action that we've seen so there are a few anomaly buys um in the data that ordinals wallet has if you want a more accurate representation you can go to btc.frl use the uh a the referral code black box b l k b o x all capital letters and you can get a free trial here for ordi charts but yeah, taking a look at this, we're, we're pretty much range bound. You know, there is currently an uptrend right now. You can see that we are making higher lows throughout the consolidation. We haven't taken out any of those lows, but ultimately we're just inside of a parallel channel. So let's uh, let's mark that. Let's get a parallel channel going. We're, we're range bound. We haven't had a real breakout just yet. So until we can take out this high, if we take out that high right here at around uh, 500 sats, if we take out 500 sats, I think that's going to be a good signal to the market that we are ready for a rally. But as long as we are inside of this channel between 500 sats and 200 and 250 sats, we'll call it that a nice little spread right there between 250 sats and 500 sats, we're just going to remain in that range. So I wouldn't be buying right in the middle. You kind of uh, add a lot of exposure here right in the middle. It's not the best time. If you find yourself down at 250 sats per nat, um, that's going to be a good spot. Oh, and that's not 250 sats, by the way, that's 0 0.000250. It's a, it's a micro cap. Uh, it's a, it's a huge supply. You get billions, literally billions of these tokens for, uh, not a lot of money, but, uh, yeah. So, so that's NAT token range bound until proven otherwise. The next token that we're going to take a look at is baked. 
Baked is kind of a meme coin. Uh, I guess it's the first meme coin on the NAT protocol. Uh, NAT stands for non-arbitrary token. There's a whole bunch of information on that. Uh, if you go and check out the Block Runners uh, podcast or the Block Runners uh, YouTube channel, they they invented the non-arbitrary token. Uh, a ton of information on YouTube about non-arbitrary tokens. I'm not going to get into it right now, but this is kind of the first. Uh, first meme so this is uh you know a a, a high chihuahua <laughs> uh the dmt baked token this is an ultra low supply so the other one was a massive supply you could get billions of these tokens these ones you know people are selling like 10 tokens uh you know it's it they're not selling large sums so we can take a look at the chart on this one because we don't actually have that chart available on already charts but we can go over here check out the daily uh, we're about to take out the high so it's actually looking pretty good here on this chart we are in a higher high higher low structure um and we have officially taken out the high so that's that's good and we haven't really accelerated just yet so you know not financial advice but this is a healthy chart i wouldn't be surprised to see continuation now this is also very new it's a very new project so you have to give it a little bit of uh time to to develop a little bit more price action but based off of the short-term price action that i'm looking at right now it's in a higher high higher low structure so we can only assume that that trend will continue the trend is your friend till it ends let me know in the comments section down below do you guys have nat tokens did you participate in the nat mint do you have any baked tokens let me know all your thoughts uh, do you think this is going to be a meme coin that'll take off i personally am not so sure just because uh you know typically speaking meme coins are something you can buy millions of meme coins that's that seems to be the general uh mo of a typical meme coin project is you can get millions and millions of them it's very rare that you get one where it's like hey i got one uh, it's not really that common and i think uh, that might stifle growth just my own opinion let me know your thoughts down below um yeah so that is all the time i have for today if you guys enjoyed this content please leave it a like don't forget to subscribe and if there are any projects that you want me to take a look at leave them in the comment section down below don't forget to check out blackbox.pro to get your free bitcoin trading bot and never miss a move again Till next time please trade safe it is jungle out there peace